Okay, no question, because the bottom line is, is that when you change the definition of who you are, yeah. then your body chemistry changes and the cells will change. The memory will be canceled out depending upon the definition of who you say you are. So that is why in the Immortal Chat uh, Club, these are people who have agreed that they are living manifestations of God, okay? We know for a fact that, you know, the definition of human means that these are individuals who see themselves as having frailties, who are admitting that they are not responsible for the experiences that they have in totality and are really kind of, uh, kind of like learning their way through life. A person who recognizes that they are pure consciousness, that's, and we all are, that we are actually made in the likeness and the image of God, and that is anything that you see, a being is in the image of God, a tree, a leaf, and also you, then you are willing to say that because I am part of the supreme consciousness, I accept that in all areas of my life, and I use that awareness of myself to be able to create the quality of life that I need. So you have to understand that these immortal genes that we have, require a high frequency, a specific chemistry to be activated. And the more you think about yourself, the better you think about yourself, the loftier definition you have about yourself, that is a quality of chemistry that now can begin to open up and activate the immortal gene. People who wow. basically just feel that they're just getting along in life, we're just trying to make it, things are so hard, I'm such a victim, I'm so afraid, I'm da 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 da. That quality of chemistry will never be able to activate the immortal gene because part of the law on the planet is really true that the best survive. But best is what? Determined by you, not by anybody outside of you, not by any necessarily accomplishments you've made but right. by you and when you say that you're the best and you think of yourself as the best in all things that chemistry then will activate the immortal gene well I mean how do we know that well I mean can you imagine that a turtle a loggerhead turtle whose brain is about the size of a tablespoon can live 350 years and blink his eye at you and not have a question about that Apparently, they because know something. <laughs> exactly. They know that that is natural for them and that they are obviously undaunted by the unknown. They're not fearful animals. So to be able to come out of an egg and immediately jump into an ocean, you know how vast the ocean is? And yeah, to be able so to weird. navigate, and to navigate that, for hundreds of years is incredible. Here we are as humans, we gotta have houses and cars and clothes and all these things to think that we're okay. This is a person who goes into, this is an entity that goes into a space every day, it's constantly changing, it has all kind of animals in it and everything that we don't know and masters that for 300 years. Wow. And they only have a tablespoon full of brain. Now here you have a head full of brain, okay, but yet still you have reluctance to be able to go outside your door. There's a problem here, and no, nature is not going to support that kind of perception. Oh, my goodness.